everyone, it's Nisha. So today I want to do this very quick, my go-to uh, makeup tutorial. I've been wearing it like every day. It's quick, it's easy. Obviously it will take a bit longer because I will have to talk through it. Uh, but yeah, I've, I was wearing that look um, on a couple of my photos on Instagram and I think when I did my birthday haul and a lot of you liked it and wanted me to do a tutorial. So here it is. Okay, so I already have done my foundation because this is supposed to be a quick makeup. My foundation is never quick. I use quite a lot of stuff and you can always see in my description box what I use. So, and it's very similar routine, but I've left my cheeks and everything alone so I can show you how I do this. I always do my cheeks first. Uh, for some reason. I don't know. That's just what I do. So first of all, I'm going to use Bahama Mama bronzer from the Balm to, I won't even call it contouring, just warming up my cheeks. I need good con contouring because I don't have any contours to my face. It's pretty round, no cheekbones. I love this powder. I've been using it for ages, every day. So I sort of do it like this. I might give myself a bit of colour in my receding hairline. Okay. Um, now what I do is use the blush and um, I'm gonna use Plum Fullery from MAC. I love this blush, it's one of my favourites. This brush I'm using is last year's Costco brush. Um, I didn't buy one this year because I didn't see anything nice on you. And I'm going to use MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, which I love as my highlighter. Um, an identified <laughs> brush, but it's one like this. I just find it quite good for, for highlighter. And I just go on the top of my cheekbones. Okay, let's do the eyes now. So I have been using this Bare Minerals 5-in-1 eyeshadow base and everything else in soft linen that I got from Karen. I really, really like it um, as my eyeshadow base. As you can see, it's quite bright. So it really evens out your eyelid. And I will do a tiny bit underneath as well. Okay, so what I mostly used was Makeup Geeks eyeshadows and I used the Shimmer Shimmer, Mocha and Cocoa Bear. But um, another day I used some of these. If you want a bit darker finish, um, this, is, this is Makeup Geek Country Girl and Burlesque and MAC Swiss Chocolate and Sketch. 
but I will do what I did. Well, I might mix them, but this is just what you do with it that is important. So first of all, I'm going to take flat all over brush, put it into shimmer shimmer, makeup geek shimmer shimmer, and I'm just going to put it on my mobile lid. And you, you know, this is perfect for hooded eyes because what I'm trying to do is emphasize the lid that I don't have. So I put that right into the socket hole. Can you see how that straight away opens up the eye, makes the lid appear bigger? And I am not using um, eyeliner today because that's another trick if you have hooded eyes. If you, obviously this portion of your eyelid is hardly visible, so if you put dark eyeliner that closes your eye even more. I like that look, but I use eyeliner most times, but um, if you want your hooded eyes to be as big as possible and as open as possible, then it's best not to. Okay, I will take Makeup Geek purely naked first, just to do my, like a transition colour. And this is very, very light brownie peach. Now, this brush that um, I love is the Sigma E35 and I'm going to go with that into Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear and go right on my socket bone and under so almost you can feel it and just swish that in that so again I am creating the artificial crease that us hoodies don't have can you see that so now you see the the contrast between the light eyeshadow and the dark one and that gives the illusion of a bigger lid and I keep doing that just deepening that out. And then go back with the blending brush into the, what was it? Purely naked and just soften it up. And if you wanted now to deepen it, you can go into mocha. So I'm going to go into mocha, but you could just leave it like this. And I just do it on this portion of my crease, just outside. That br br brush is brilliant um, because it is so long and, and thin. It's so good to get in there for us for this. Let me do now the bottom lashes. I will take one of the angled brushes because I don't, I will need to soften it and smudge it. So 
I'm going to cuckoo bear. And just go in with it, my lower lash line. And I will pull it up here to meet my crease color, as you can see. That's why angle brush is quite good for that. Then I will take a pencil brush, E30, and I will go into purely naked and I will smudge that underneath so it's not too dark I might add a bit of mocha onto the corners and then I will Take Very Technique Shading Brush, go into Cocoa Bear and just shade this corner a tiny bit. I think I need a bit more mocha on this corner. Yeah, I'm doing this with mocha now because the cocoa bit. Okay, now I'm going to take my blending brush and uh, this is Zoeva Crease. Oh, it's called Crease, but I like to use it for blending. I am not using eyeliner on the top of my um, lash line because I want my, my lid to look quite big but I want to darken my, my eyelashes so I want the roots of my lashes to be very dark so I'm going to take a coal eyeliner and this one is from Avon Super Shock Eyeliner and I'm going to tight line it so I just lift my and I go very near the roots. I don't like doing this but it is very effective as you can see that really emphasize that really darkens the roots of your lashes. I think in that video I was wearing fake eyelashes, the Eskido Lash Lorette, which are beautiful, but obviously for every day, um, as this makeup is for me, I wouldn't. So that's it, now I will just do the mascara, so my Kiko Ultra Tech Mascara. Well, my eyelashes are reaching, I think, the optimal length. Um, and as you know, I use the Rapid Lash Serum. But once they gone the longest they can go, they will start falling out. And I can see actually bits already fell out here, so new ones are growing out. So sometimes you have few gaps but I don't mind that because they are extremely extremely long like spiders so love my lashes I love wearing um, fake lashes especially when you're going out summer when it's dark because 
they give you um, the thickness and really define your eye but every day my lashes looking like this I love them I usually go over it as well with my Dior It Lash Mascara which I think is getting a bit dry now I need a new one I really like this one also when you don't put the eyeliner on the top lash line you can see your lashes much better against that light eyeshadow okay so that's the eyes done and now for my lip combo what i've been using is um the it cosmetics your lips by Be bad better um waterproof nude lip liner stain and this one is in the nude light medium so i was putting that on first and lisa lisa do you want to send me that one because we obviously don't have it cosmetics here in the uk and i do like it I take the Ilamasca colouring in pencil in wool and I go over it on the outside not really overlining my lips and then I've been using and loving my Ilamasca glamour lipstick in rose pout when you look in my lately in my um, description box you will see this lipstick featuring a lot And then I look and I might go over again with the... I do like the It Cosmetics, but I don't really like the retractable thing and the little um, sharpener. I, they never get really sharp enough. So they are good pencils to maybe if you want to fill in your, your lips a bit. But I like the regular sharpening ones and some days what I was doing if I wanted it even darker I would go over it with my MAC lip pencil in saw Okay, and then I would, that was from Lisa actually as well, uh, Victoria's Secret, Victoria's Secret Shine Drama Lip Gloss in Innocent. I don't know what is this one, but I just pulled it out when I did it one day and I really liked it. So that is the finished look, um, I've been really liking it and I've been doing it most days really because I know it is taking longer because I'm talking through it but if I do it by myself 
honestly it doesn't take me more than five minutes the actual eyes obviously my face takes probably 10 minutes but my eyes take me like five minutes so it's really quick but obviously i had to talk through it so i hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and i see you soon bye